Good afternoon, peoples. Welcome to our today's revision. We are going to uh, discuss about compound interest. And our question for today goes like this. Wafula borrowed 8,000 from a bank that charged compound interest at the rate of 25% per year. How much did he pay back at the end of two years? So Wafula borrowed 8,000 from a bank that charged compound interest at the rate of 25% per year. How much did he pay back at the end of two years? So, uh, to get uh, the amount charged at the end of two years, we are first of all going to get the interest earned in the first year. Interest earned in the first year. And to get interest earned, we multiply principal times rate times time. Principal refers to the amount borrowed, which is 8,000. Rate refers to the percentage which is charged, which is 25% per year. And the time refers to the period of time, uh, the period which is two years. So in the first year, in the first year, the interest and we are going to say 8,000, which is the principal, times the rate, which is 25 uh, over 100, times time, we are going to model it by one year. That is the first year. So we will say, uh, two zeros to cancel with the two zeros here. Then we have 800 times 25. 800 times, 800 times 25, you get 20,000. So that is the interest earned in the first year. We also calculate the amount earned in the first year. And to get amount, we are going to add principal plus interest and in that year so principal is 80,000 interest and is 20,000 so we are saying 80,000 plus 20,000 and for that matter we get our amount for the first year being 100,000 so in the first year the amount which was supposed to be returned if they were to be told to, re to return all the to return to give the amount, they would have uh, taken 100,000 to the bank. So we also calculate the interest earned in the second year. Second year. So to get interest earned in the second year, again, we are going to model principal times rate times time. But this time, the principal for the second year is going to be the amount of the first year so our principal is going to be 100,000 times rate 25 of 100 times time one year so we are going to say two zeros to cancel two zeros so we have 25 times 1,000 25 times 1,000 you get 25,000 so that is the interest for the second year. Interest for the second year. So to now get the answer for the question, the amount which was to be to be paid back at the end of two years, we are going to say amount which is equal to principal plus interest. So we add principal for the second year, which is hundred thousand. We had interest for the second year which is 25000 and we are going to get amount which was supposed to be returned at the end of two years which is going to be to 125000 1000 sorry so this is this is the amount which was to be returned at the end of two years that is 
how we go about it calculating uh, compound interest but we can also uh, use another formula a shortcut of this whereby we calculate amount in the compound interest using this formula the formula the shortest formula for calculating amount in the compound interest we have calculate it by multiplying principal times 1 plus rate of 100 raised to power to power t where t stands for time in years whereby we say amount is going to be principal which is 80,000 in bracket 1 plus rate which is 25 over 100 raised to power 2 where 2 refers to the number of years yeah okay so here we are going to say 80 80,000 you multiply by 1 1 plus 0 0.25 squared which is equals to 80,000 times 1.25 in the square you mean times also 1.25 Five. That is the translation of all this. When you add 1 plus 0 0.25, you get 1.25. Therefore, when we square here, we also mean that we are going to see 1.25 times 1.25. So, if we are going to multiply, we are going to have uh, these four uh, zeros here. They are going to do away with the, the decimals, these four decimals places so we have one two three four so this is the same as multiplying eight eight that is times 125 times 125 which is equals to we can say 125 times eight we get this one is 40 this is 16 20 8 10 so we have gotten 1000 so 1000 we say 1000 1000 times 125 we are going to get 125000 which is the same answer we have gotten here so if you can use this formula correctly and get the correct answer well and good if you can use this formula, the shortcut, and get the same answer, again, you are good to go. So, you can use this one, uh, the shortcut for calculating amount in compound interest, which is amount equals to principal in bracket 1 plus R of 100 raised to power T, where T, I have told you, stands for time, R stands for rate and the p stands for principal so we had the principal 80,000 this one here is the same as 100 over 100 so then 100 over 100 is the same as the principal the principal is 100 so the interest and so we added the interest and which is 25 over 100 then we raise to power t which is time in our case is two years so if we have uh, the time is two three years this one will be three okay so if it is two years it, it is like you are squaring so you say eight in bracket one plus 0 0.25 0 0.25 is 25 of 100 is 0 0.25 so when you add 0 point, uh, 1 plus 0 0.25 you get 1.25 and because of the square we say times another 1.25 Okay, these four zeros, I have told you that they, they are going to remove the four decimal play, 
places which we have one two three four so it, it will translate to a multiplication of eight times one twenty five times one twenty five whereby when you multiply one twenty five times eight you get one thousand when you multiply one thousand times one thousand times one twenty five you get one twenty five thousand so it is the form this formula is giving us the same answer so you can use either of the two i hope you have understood so let us meet in our next lesson have a good day thank you